Towards the end of May, Diamond are going to resume distribution of comics, and Marvel has come up with a revived schedule for them. However, there seems to be some notable absences from the list, and one of them includes the new, the new, 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 new Warriors. Maybe, just maybe, they found a safe space that was too good for them to leave. Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Yes, <laughs> I've got one of those grins on my face. Why? Because we're talking about the comic industry again. The comic industry, folks, which is burning on fire. The comic industry that they're trying to put out the fire by chucking paraffin onto it. <laughs> We've got artists drawing pictures to help comic shops, giving it to a charity that takes 60 bloody 2% of the money raised from it before it even goes anywhere. And the charity is a, a generalized book charity. So it gets distributed not through just comic shops, but all the book shops as well. So ultimately, the comic shops see nothing. Jim Lee saving the industry. One illustration at the time. Jim, why don't you just do a general search of your area? Draw a bloody image. Sell it off on auction and then take that money and give it to the goddamn shop. <sighs> hey, here's $10,000. Great, thank you. That might just keep us up and running because they keep putting out shit. Oh, but no, let's go through this route. Here, here's $2.50 after we've taken all of our distribute. Oh, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, the comic book industry, more claps, please, more claps. <laughs> Got the neighbor's dog barking now. Right, so, uh, let's get into this one. This is uh, an article from the 1st of May. Uh, I'm a little bit behind because, uh, I don't know if you're aware, there's a games company out there called Naughty Dog. Uh, they're making this game called The Last of Us Part 2. It's kind of been taking up a little bit of my time. <laughs> <laughs> Just a soup song of my time. But this is from Newsarama from May 1st. X-Men, Fantastic Four, more. Not on Marvel's revised release slate. With Diamond's direct market distribution seemingly back up and running. Not really. Not really, no. Number one, it's not back up and running. They're going to try and be back up by May 27th. That's when they're going to try and be back up. But Diamond have just taken out a bunch of loans so that they can get back into the game. While Steve Jeppy, who, for all intents and purposes, is a charming man, is saying to everyone, oh, we're going to come back better than ever, stronger than ever. No, you're not. Your bloody distribution center's done. You owe money left, right, and center. You can't pay people off. You're having to pay them off in installments. And you're taking out loans to pay them. So you're just pushing the money. Oh, my God. Coming back better than ever. <laughs> this, this industry is hilarious. At least DC, regardless of the fact that they are in massive trouble, regardless of the fact that Brian Michael Bendis has got Superman selling only 30,000 units a month due to these tap that he's putting out, due to the fact that Detective Comics, Batman's premier title in reality, well, in reality it's the secondary, but it's really the primary title, that's down to around 30,000 as well. How? How, DC, can you let that happen? And Batman sales dropping as well. They've got their own issues. What do they do? Hey, have a Gotham High. Oh, piss off. So regardless of the tap that DC are putting out, at least they realised we can't rely on Diamond anymore. And the fact that after a week and a half of COVID and this... The fact they had no cash flow coming through, they went under in essence. They could no longer distribute. 
They laid off staff. They furlonged staff. And now they got a bunch of loans to get themselves going. So DC said, right, they can't ship. This is breach of contract. Let's get some other distributors in. They got two more distributors in. Not tried and tested, though. Not tried and tested. So when DC started to ship comics, they couldn't ship the ones that might actually sell. They had to ship the ones like Lois Bloody Lane 10 that would just get out there and let's see if they can distribute. So at the beginning of June, when they're going to start to put out your Batman 92s, etc., then they've had six weeks to try and prove themselves. And then DC will know whether or not they're up to the task or not. But no, Marvel, now nah, we're just all in again. <laughs> we're all in with Diamond. A company that is dangling by several threads. And each one is going, doink, 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 doink. So even Marvel, even Marvel, who are one of the stupidest companies out there, realize they can't put out their big titles with Diamond right now. Because if Diamond tanks, oh my god, they've just lost the earning potential for these. So they've got to see whether Diamond are up to it again. So they can't put out their big titles. They've got to make sure Diamond can distribute once more. So they're not putting out X-Men, Captain America, Fantastic Four, Wolverine, Spider-Woman, Gwen Stacy, Conan, and Star Wars. But even these... Are a slight mm. because Wolverine and Spider Woman are both relaunched titles. Spider Woman they shipped a ton, an absolute metric ton of her comic, like a hundred and eighty thousand units to put it up there at number one. How many of those a hundred and eighty odd thousand units sold? Oh, I bet nowhere fucking close. Nowhere close. I saw some reviews on the comic. It looked like trash issue two is gonna in terms of distribution and again who knows how many of them actually sell but even wolverine which they sent out 150 160 000 at that relaunch issue two 70 000. slight difference between the two and again that's distribution not sales but they classes sales because it's the comic shop that bear the brunt. That's why comic shops are falling like fucking dominoes. So, they're holding on to their bigger distributors. And I tell you what, if comic book shops don't come up with something for them to return non-sold comics, this cycle we've just had is going to repeat itself very quickly indeed comic shops are just going to go fold 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 bye bye local comic book shop marvel and dc did nothing to help you they just went straight back to their old ways my god this is a rant oh, this is a rant but, folks, there's something else missing. And that is, other notable absences are the entirety of the outlawed subline of titles. Champions, Power Pack, and New Warriors are not included. Now, after the reaction to New Warriors, you would probably think, oh, God, let's get it, let's get it over and done with. But no, let's have a look at champions for a second, shall we? Uh, this is taken from CBR from July 28th, 2019. Marvel Comics ends champions with issue 10. Wow, wow, what a seller. What a seller. But that's Marvel Comics. Bring out a comic, make it political, let it fail, re-release it. And the cycle continues again and again and again. 
failed comic. Uh, don't worry, let's group them together and let them all fail together. By the way, if you don't buy these, you're an estophobe and an ezam. No, you're a shitty comic book provider. That's what you are. Oh, look, it's Sam Amanot. I mean, I mean, Ms. Marvel. I mean, Ms. Marvel. Oh, Eve. And then our, our wonderful friends, New Warriors. Kibble Smith. Kibble Smith. Kibble. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Dude, dude, dude. Dude, dude, how does it feel that this is your legacy? This is what you will forever be known for. <laughs> oh boy. I saw Joe Rogan's uh, when they showed him. Oh my God, it was hilarious. What's she running towards? Cake. Um, yes, New Warriors, MIA. Nowhere on the list whatsoever. Are they just going to silently ditch it? I'm not convinced. I think they're just going to try and leave some separation before attempting again. And do you know why? Because there's a couple of other things that are missing. America Chavez. She was meant to come out in June. Where's America Chavez? Nowhere in sight. That five-issue miniseries relaunch, no, that's not there either. What else isn't here? Oh, Vida Ayala's Children of the Atom, or as I like to call it, Gender, Race, and Sexuality Swapped X-Men. Because that's all that Vida Ayala knows how to do. Oh, apart from not sell comics. But one thing they're great at doing is ticking boxes. And that's all Marvel give a toss about. Not quality, box ticking. Where is Children of the Atom? Nowhere in sight. And that was due April. So you would have thought that would have been one of the first that they pushed out for them to test it. No. No. All very conspicuously absent. However, I'm pretty sure they're just trying to create separation from the publicity that it received, the negativity that they all received, and then they're going to quietly slip them out in a few months' time. <laughs> I would love it. In six months. I'll come back to this in six months. If they're not out in six months, they're not coming out. They're not coming out. But I'm telling you right now, they will. They will be out within six months. They just want you to forget about the horrendous marketing that it got. The horrendous news that it got. The eye that it got. <laughs> oh, boy. The comic book industry, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like they probably haven't learnt a thing. Well done. So if you're a comic book shop and you've managed to survive up until now, don't worry, they're going for the femoral artery next time for you to bleed out. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.